you are talking about seed capital. This, by the time we finish our serialization, mm. well, it, have it there will, be more will, payments? There will be more payments. Beyond running, the 57? Yes. Running into hundreds of millions of Ghana cities. Are you aware, Ben, that we had to relocate the passport office, which we had renovated not too long ago. You know, I'm ranking member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, so I followed that process closely. It cost us 10 million Ghana cities to relocate the passport office to where it is now, near uh, GIJ. Then the judges' bungalow, we had to demolish it, then relocate the judges, about 20 of them. We are paying for their rent, expensive rent, at prime location in Accra. Then we are constructing apartments for the judges in cantonments. Then we also had to wow. go into an agreement with the Malian government. Mm -hmm. Ben, will you believe that we told the Malian government that we will get them a land at airport residential and build a new mm. ambassador's residence for them? So far, the land has been secured. You know how much land costs at airport residential. The Malian government is waiting for their ambassador's residence. That is not all. You see, the level of recklessness, Ben, let me reveal for the first time that this National Cathedral project, which is so close to the conference center, the Accra International Conference Center, we have been told that, and you, you heard John Kuma repeat it this evening, that the National Cathedral will serve other purposes for conventions, conferences, and all of that, so that we can get our money back. So the sitting capacity will be about 5,000. Will you believe, Ben, that as we speak, government is making arrangements to raise down the Accra International Conference Center, demolish it, and construct a new one? 